Nine, a man who was hospitalized after a hit and run in February died on Friday. Now his family wants justice. 61 year old Dirk Wilson was struck in early February in Thornton, and that is where we find Fox 31's Rogelio Mata is live tonight. Yeah, Kim, it's here at 84th and Ralph Lane, just west of Interstate 25. This is where I interviewed Dirk's brother earlier today. When I asked him for photos of Dirk, he said the only ones they had were of him injured, severely injured at the hospital. Some viewers might find these photos quite graphic, but his family says they want the person who struck him to see just what they did. He was homeless and have been for some time. Dirk Wilson's family is at the intersection where they say he was struck in a hit and run back on February 9th. Now they're mourning his death. My mother and I found out on February 21st. His brother Dondi says they were notified by the hospital that Dirk suffered traumatic injuries after he was hit. I can't imagine what my mother's going through. She just lost her husband of 50 years and now she's lost her son. Dirk was in intensive care for weeks before he passed. His family says they were thankful they were at least able to be by his side. We could talk to him. We, you know, rubbed his head. We, we did what we could. Now they're left with questions and a desire for justice. I mean, it was still daylight and uh, somebody should know something. Dondi says his brother suffered immensely from this hit and run. He had a fractured skull. He had brain trauma. He had bleeding in the brain. His neck was broken, his shoulder was broken, his arm was broken, both ankles were broken, he had spinal fluid leaking, and he was paralyzed. Because of Dirk's situation, Dondi says the family didn't have many photos of him, just these photos of Dirk in the hospital after being struck. And I'm sorry, they're kind of graphic, but I just want whoever has done this, I'm putting you on blast for what you have done to me and my family. It's a terrible situation for that family. Now, Colorado State Police are the investigating agency. The information they provided us regarding this incident was that the car was identified as a silver or gray Honda sedan with Colorado plates, though they were not able to procure those uh, the license plate number. We're live in Thornton, Rogelio Modest Fox 31. All right, Rogelio, thank you.